Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is U.S. immigration attorney Hardim Tripathi from Trip Law. Today, this nugget that we're going to share with you in this video is going to be about bond hearings. And if you are an immigrant who has been caught up in bond hearings, what does that entail? What, what it encompasses all of that? And what can we as a law firm do to help you? Well, these are very serious hearings. Bond hearings are basically at Chrome Detention Facility uh, Center uh, in the state of Florida where we practice, but there's bond hearing centers all across the United States. So if you are an immigrant who happens to be caught up in some alleged criminal activity and now you've been picked up by ICE, most likely they're going to put you in a detention center if you're undocumented and they're going to initiate what's called immigration removal proceedings against you, which means it's deportation. But before the deportation, there's usually a bond hearing to issue an amount that the judge will then set for bond. That immigration judge is going to look at the crime that was allegedly committed and then set an amount for bond. But here's the thing, that doesn't happen automatically. You have to prove to the government through your attorney that ultimately you're not going to be a danger to property or peoples, that you're not going to be a threat to national security, and that ultimately you're not going to be a flight risk, that you are going to show up for future immigration hearings. And if you do that, and the evidence is given to the judge by your attorney, and that case has been met, then what will end up happening is they will let you out to go back to your family or to your home while immigration proceedings are held against you. So it's very important to hire an attorney at that point because you're going to need an attorney to present all that evidence, speak with the judge on your behalf, and also make sure that they're responding to the, the government's arguments because the government is also going to ask questions to you during that bond hearing about those three elements we discussed, whether you will be a flight risk, whether you will be a threat to national security, or whether you will be a threat to persons or properties. So these are things that have to be proved. The burden is on the government, but then it switches to us as your attorneys, along with you as the immigrant, to make sure that at this bond hearing, we are proving back to the judge uh, and counteracting the arguments that the uh, prosecutor or the Office of the Principal Legal Advisor there at DHS, Department of Homeland Security, and ICE are going to bring to you at that bond hearing. So such an important area of law and immigration where it's a, it's pretty much a hearing in front of a judge, a federal judge with the Department of Justice, and on the other side you have the Department of Homeland Security. So it's very important that you have a private attorney there to protect you, make sure they have all the proper relevant forms filed with the judge, these E-28s and all the relevant documentation, all the evidence is gathered. They may be things in, involving addiction issues or you know, if, if there's like DUIs involved or if there were things involving uh, drugs or maybe domestic violence, you may be eligible for what's called Violence Against Women Act if a uh, spouse of yours who's a citizen committed that act, or maybe you're a victim of a crime and you know you were put into that bond hearing somehow. These are all defenses that you can use at your hearing and also ultimately at your uh, deportation matter. But it's very important that you do get out on bond because you definitely want to be with your family while these proceedings are going on. You do not want to sit there in a detention facility. Uh, you want to get out you know, and pay that bond and get back with your family while the immigration proceedings are happening. So if you do have any questions, if you were that unfortunate individual who got caught up uh, and picked up by ICE and now you're an undocumented immigrant who's now in uh, deportation proceedings and you get issued what's called a bond hearing, please have your loved one give us a call so that we can make sure that we show up to court um, either at Chrome or any other detention facility across the United States so that your rights are protected from a constitutional pr perspective and also from the INA and all the laws that can help you uh, with respect to your matter based on immigration law. So we hope that you don't ever get picked up or apprehended by ICE, but if you do, in worst case scenario, if that happens, please feel free to reach out to our office so that we can immediately jump to your defense, protect you based on the law, and make sure that you do get home with your loved ones. We see a lot of this during the holidays. It's very hard to get in touch with people, uh, especially other attorneys when it's the holiday time, but we're here to work for you. So give us a call so we can protect you. We wish you the best if this ever happens to you. Please feel free to reach out and we'd be happy to serve you to make sure that you have that proper legal defense in that court at the time of your bond hearing. So ladies and gentlemen, this is U.S. Immigration Attorney Hardim Tripathi from Trip Law, and we thank you so much for your time today to listen in on this little nugget of wisdom that we provided to you, and we wish you the best of luck with your immigration journey. Thank you and have a great day.